Hi, uh, I am back to do a Scandal review. Scandal Season 5, Episode 2. Yes. I think we should call the episode Poped because we all got poped by the end of the, the episode. But um, let's begin. Okay, sorry if I'm looking down. My notes are wherever my hands are apparently. Um, so we start the episode with Sally on her television show talking crap, calling Olivia a seductress. Uh, Olivia and Fitz are watching this and Olivia's ha checked out. She's like, rrr, rrr. she zoned out pretty much um, freaking out at <laughs> the reality of her situation. Fitz is whispering to her, it's going to be okay, but it's all mumbles because she's, her, she's gone. Um, so Fitz runs off to speak to Liz and Abby to find out what the hell is going on. Meanwhile, Olivia is running the heck out, <laughs> escaping from the White House. Fitz like, I'm not gonna say a damn thing. Like, first off, let's find out who did this. Um, it's obviously a security breach. And um, Abby's like saying, dude, uh, there's a bigger problem. We have to make a statement. This is a big deal. And Fitz is like, I'm not gonna say anything without Olivia. I have to go back to the residence. He goes back to the re residence. Olivia is not there. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. Um, um, Fitz calls her uh, when he realizes that she's not there. And uh, Olivia's like, don't call me. Uh, I'll, I'll come back. We'll figure something out. Olivia goes to um, Quinn's house and pretty much asks her uh, what cases are there because she needs to work. Um, <clears throat> Abby is dealing with the press um, and pretty much avoiding questions about the marriage, the statement, all of that. So Abby's caught between a rock and a hard place. Um, next scene we have, uh, Millie shows up um, at the White House and Fitz is like, what the hell are you doing here? And she's like, you know what, you need to apologize to me and we can work it out. And he's like, apologize for what? And she said that, you know, the divorce was mean. Well, before that, she kind of says to Fitz, like, you made her a mistress. Once you brought her here, you made her a mistress. And she doesn't want to be that. So you're going to apologize to me and I'm, I'm going to fix it. We're going to do what we always do, which is, you know, pretend like we're a happy marriage. It lives a close friend. The pictures are BS. You know, I'll fix this. And um, Fitz was like, I know you did this. This is your only means to get what you want. Get out. And she's like, we're a team, Fitz. I need you. He's like, no, get out. Uh, David is, I'm sorry. Um, later on, we see Fitz waiting for Olivia. I mean, Fitz is useless. This is why I don't like Fitz. He's, he's a pussy. He's a big pussy. I'm sorry to be... Uh, <laughs> such use such strong language the strong la language is necessary because Fitz, Fitz is a pussy okay he he can't do anything without somebody telling him what to do and and Cyrus substantiates that so I'm getting ahead so Fitz is waiting for Olivia even though Abby's begging for a statement David comes in um he talks about the security breach and what he, the means to f figure out who did it. Susan, the new vice president, is like, this is BS, this is a lie. And then she realizes that it's, it's true. And she's like, freaking the hell out, like, really? So everyone has their assigned tasks. Fitz is not going to make a statement. So Abby has to tap dance for the press. David has to go figure out who did this. And Susan is caught reeling, thinking, my God, this, I can't believe this person is like that. Um, so the case that they take, um, the cases that they take are BS. I'm going to, I'm, I'm going to be honest. I miss the days. I think it's like season one and season two where the cases lend to the storyline, not just as a means for, uh, what Olivia decides to do later, but they were, interwoven completely into the grander storyline of the season right now the cases are bs they're forgettable you don't really remember their names you don't really care they're just you know let me explain the case so a kid okay the stepmom calls olivia because um her husband was killed her husband walter an older man she's super young 
husband was killed by uh, they th- allegedly by her stepson, Gavin. Husband's name's Walter. Gavin's the stepson. Gavin was um, arraigned and made bail. Um, she made bail. She paid the stepmother, Stephanie, made bail, paid the lawyer. And Gavin, in turn, books it. He disappears. And they're supposed to check in every 48 hours. So she calls Olivia to find the Gavin. So this is similar because Olivia obviously wants to run from the situation. Gavin's on the run from murdering his dad, allegedly. Um, we find out he does it. Murdering his dad. And it's the, the case lends to, it, it mirrors what's happening in the greater storyline. But the greater storyline, I, I, I just miss the days when the cases were substantial. Anyhow, I'm just rambling on too much about it. So, <clears throat> uh, so while they're working a case, Livia's on the road looking for Gavin while, um, Quinn is look, is doing her computer thing. Jake brings in Huck. Um, Quinn gives Huck shit about being cured. David was like, back off, leave him alone. Um, Blah, blah, blah. So they're they're chasing Gavin via computer. Jake thinks that Ali- that Quinn is crazy to let Liv do this. And uh, Quinn's like, you don't say no to Olivia. Um, meanwhile, David retrieves Millie's computer. Millie says she has nothing to hide, and she doesn't. Um, she calls him a bus stop. <laughs> the voice slayer, though. I was laughing at that, because that's what David is. David is a joke. <laughs> And he's kind of a ways. And I know they probably keep him because they like him as the actor, so they keep him employed. I find, I bet you Shonda Rhimes keeps people that she likes. Real talk. Any hoodle. Um, because he's useless on the show. He, he, he serves no purpose. And don't get me wrong. I don't mind the actor. David doesn't bother me as a character, but what has he done? What is he doing besides, like, give, like, four or five lines an episode so far? Like, he's useless to me. So Olivia is chasing Gavin. She goes to a pawn store where he, the, the watch of uh, the father's watch got pawned. Then she sees a casino. She goes into the casino, sees Gavin at the blackjack table, handcuffs him, and pretty much waits for Jake to rescue her because Gav- you know, obviously she can't r- rein in Gavin. They're about the same size. Gavin says to them as they're driving to wherever, I guess back home, um, which doesn't really make sense because they ended up in a hotel room, later, motel room and later on. Anyhow, um, Gavin says, I didn't do it. Look into my stepmother. She did it because, you know, she's been having an affair. Abby is still avoiding questions um, from the press. And Cyrus is watching, tee it up, just enjoying <laughs> the misery that Abby is going through. And I was laughing with him, laughing at her, which is messed up. Anyhow, he calls her and he gives her advice. Be the adult. And this is why Fitz is, is, is a pussy. Because if... So Fitz is a baby. Fitz is a pussy. Um, how can... I just... So that's uh, Cyrus's advice to Abby. Tell Fitz what to do. Show Fitz what he has to do. So it turns out... Um, While Jake and Olivia and Gavin are waiting in the hotel room for the results of Quinn and Huck's further investigation into Stephanie, they found out that the affair is true. Gavin begs for food. They go to a diner. And, uh, well, before they go to the diner, Gavin sees Olivia on TV, makes the comment, oh, I see we're both on the run, which is, you know, I mean, that's what it is. Ultimately, um there it's the same the, the storylines are the same even though this minor plot serves the major plot of the story and it's just terrible writing but any hoodle um jake confronts her about what she's going to do quinn is still acting like a bitch to huck um abby gets in front of the press again but this time <laughs> She follows Cyrus's advice and makes a statement. Says they're the the million fits her together. She still lives in the White House. They're a team. Fitz is pissed off. Tells Liz to check her, check the situation. Liz Liz goes to Abby and says, "Okay, well, I can't fire you because it's gonna make it worse. But you need to 
sort your, sh your shit out because we do the strategy, you're just the mouthpiece. You're not supposed to do anything else. Gavin, Olivia, Jake go to a diner. Um, while Gavin gets up to go to the restroom, you see him whispering to two other people at a table. Um, he pretty much whispers to them, and that's Olivia Pope. And they bum rush. Uh, Jake goes to follow Gavin to the bathroom. The the people bum rush Olivia to take pictures, which I don't know why you'd want to take pictures with the mistress. Um, uh, the bum rush of people, um, Gavin uses as a distraction to run the heck out because Jake, of course, comes in and saves her. Um, Jake. Oh yeah, uh, let's. I'm going in order of the episode. So Abby goes to see Cyrus, who approves of what she she's done, and pretty much says that you know why Olivia ran. You know exactly what Olivia wants from the situation. She doesn't want to be a mistress. She doesn't want to be in the storm. You have to tell Fitz this. Susan, and this is one of my favorite moments of the episode. Susan confronts Fitz and says, "You." Do you think about the American people? Do you think about the people who voted for you? And Fitz is like, well, I feel in love. And, and Susan's like, you don't get to be normal. You don't get to be flawed. You're the president. Act like it. And she walks out. She pretty much guilts him. Um, Olivia is hiding out in the room from the press because the press swarms the area. They're looking for her. And she snuggles up with Jake. <laughs> This is so unfair. Jake is such a good guy. This is why Jake is bae, because he, sn he comforts her. He snuggles with the bitch, and she's talking about being in love with another man. Like, who does that? Where is that cool in the park? You know, lies. I, I, my, me and my ex-boyfriend are, are very good friends, um, the one I was with for uh, years. He has a new girlfriend now, and I'm happy for him, and we're understanding like that. But I would never ask him to snuggle with me. That's not how it's going to go down. Um, any hoodle. Neither here nor there. So um, they snuggle and he tells her that, you know, when the adrenaline hits, you know exactly what to do. So um, that's used for later on. So Abby confronts Fitz, says, oh, you know, she's with Jake. You have to do the right thing. Fitz, uh, Olivia would never want to be your mistress. She would never want to be out of She would never give her life away for you like that. So Quinn gives Huck more shit. They fight, he leaves, but Quinn later on finds out where Gavin is, which is that um, Quinn tells the team that she uh, <clears throat> figured out where Gavin is. Um, apparently Gavin was stealing from his father. The father was going to change his will to exclude Gavin, um, and he is running to his, the, the house that he was trying to build with his father's stolen money. Um, Jake and Olivia go over to find him. They call the cops on him. Um, <clears throat> and that's sorted out. Um, Fitz, oh, did I say already? Abby confronts Fitz. Says, yeah, I did. So Fitz um, dismisses information about where the leak happened, um, calls Millie, apologizes, and they're about to do an interview to say that they're together, they're a team. He leaves a message for Olivia, which she listens to on her way back to Washington, D.C., saying that, I'm sorry, I understand, and I'm I'm going to make this right. You're not going to be pulled into this. I'm going to do the interview with Millie. Everything's going to be okay. Um, Quinn finds Hux and says they, they commiserate on how they're both messed up. Um, David tells Abby that the leak does come from Millie, however... It was Liz who did it, who leaked the pictures to Sally. And Abby, instead of telling Fitz that there's a snake in the garden, she wants to be equals with Liv and, not Liv, with Liz and make an arrangement so that she's involved in strategy and the White House dealings, which I think is bullshit, but anywho. So Jake drives Olivia home. Fitz says he understands. She's crying. And this is the best part of the episode. She's going into her building, swarmed by paparazzi, and they ask her, are you the president's mistress? She turns around, looks at them, and says, yes. I was so happy. Because I'm so sick of this being a secret. Everyone knows they're fucking. Like, let's do this already. I'm so happy she did it. That was scandal. I'm sorry that the, the episode was, my review was like, meh. Because, you know, a lot of these, Fitz is useless. David is useless. Like, Abby's awesome. 
Olivia is cool. Jake is bae. I don't know. So <laughs> I'll see you in <laughs> How to Get Away with Murder. Bye. <laughs>